Hey everybody, as you know, uh, Microsoft released uh, the information about Windows 10 for the Raspberry Pi and other IoT devices and whatnot, or boards rather. Um, just really quickly wanted to point something out. Uh, for those of you out there who uh, want to get started with it and whatnot, I have videos coming, but I just wanted to briefly show you, as you see up here, the IP address. Um, as you notice, uh, it, when you put the... Um, uh, the image file onto your Raspberry Pi and whatnot. Doesn't matter if you have a uh, most Wi-Fi adapters. I've tried six different ones. Uh, the Wi-Fi adapters don't even come up on the list. Um, however, Ethernet. But if I want to view it and play with it, uh, uh, obviously my uh, computer has HDMI uh, input slash output. Obviously. Um, so what I've gone and done is I created a bridged adapter uh, for my Wi-Fi. Uh, to use the internet. Anyhow, it, it needs some work, but long story short, that's why we have a 169 address here. Um, that being said, um, you know, it is what it is. And just to show you really quickly um, that it does work, as you see, I have uh, my device right here, 169, uh, and that matches. This is part of the thing that you have to install. Um, so that you can, you know, here you have options, copy Mac, blah, 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 blah. So I've gone and done that and opened it up on the web and it seems to be there. Um, and as you see here, installed apps, you can change it, Miracast, that's that really cool thing. Uh, so you can send video or video or uh, pictures, etc. through uh, to your TV or whatever. Uh, which is funny because I made an app called Flickin that did the same damn thing. Uh, you can install the apps right here, certificates, dependencies, etc., and deploy apps right on board right here. You can remove or start them, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, you can see all the processes running on your uh, Pi. Um, performances going on here, as you can see the spikes and whatnot. Uh, debugging, you know. Um, your real-time stuff, registered providers, which is kind of cool here, right? Um, custom providers, provider history, events, filters, blah, blah, blah. Uh, perf tracing, general profiles, you can upload one. Uh, device manager, as you see right here. Uh, Miracast HID, which is human interface device, and you have your basic stuff about uh, the device tree, networking, see it says Wi-Fi adapters, here's an option for it, right? You think it would show up. I had uh, multiple, I think literally six different adapters I've gone through and they don't show up. Profiles, should you have one, and see which is available networks, you know, you hit that. And as you see here, um, it says it retrieved a list of wireless adapters. I think that's a uh, fraud because it didn't obtain anything because there's no connections anyhow and then here you see it says ethernet to usb or ethernet uh adapter right here but uh ethernet and it's why my wi-fi uh grabbing uh to this so it's got a bridge uh slash gateway which i will be making a video on for those of you who do not want to go through the process of putting your uh, pi via ethernet to somewhere else in the location like mine's on the second floor um, so that's a bit different. However, the cool thing about this is uh, you can set it up and let it go and whatnot. But you have your shutdown, reboot, etc. There's help there. Um, some reason when I go to status, nothing shows up here. But now if I have the HDMI hookup, I can see uh, the whole status. It's a nice uh, screen actually. But uh, anyhow, that's the brief overview of the web management for uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi image. Uh, for the Windows 10 IoT stuff. Um, so that's the web page that it shows. I don't know what it runs on. Maybe IIS. I don't know. Uh, nonetheless, it's fairly quick. Um, everything seems to run fairly well. Uh, but we'll be making videos uh, to show you how to get through everything. Uh, like how to actual, actually deploy an app to uh, your Pi. Uh, how to use the GPO. How to include... Um, for a lot of those who don't know uh, C Sharp or C in general, uh, it should be interesting. Anyhow, lots of great stuff to come out with the uh, uh, wearables and uh, Internet of Things, uh, so to speak, and how to do it. And uh, yeah, anyhow, uh, get ready for some future videos.